Greetings, I'm Mark Greedicell. Here's a quick introduction to Planarizer 020. I've made a few changes from the previous version. Uh, I've moved away from using the D key to activate the plugin. Also, no longer relying on the mouse cursor position because what I'm doing now is ex changing the plugin to be accessible through the specials menu, which is accessible using the W key. There we are, right there, Planarizer and there are additional options which now appear as well as the 3D cursor which is used to select um, potential faces for use in the calculation of planes. So the main two modes that are available are the single vertex selection and the multiple vertex selection. They behave slightly differently so I'm going to start with the single vertex selection and kind of give you a general idea of how that works. So here we are with this mesh again. Um, what I'm going to do now is take a few of these vertices and move them around a little bit. Trying not to make them too terrible. But now you can see that there are definitely some quads here that are not coplanar, such as this one, this one, and this, also this. All right, so we're going to fix those with planarize. So what I'll do, I'm going to move the 3D cursor to this end, and I'm going to work away from the 3D cursor. The reason for this is in single vertex selection mode, when I select a vertex, it will search for connected quads. So that would be this quad see this quad or this quad if I'm selecting this vertex so the 3d cursor is here that means it will use the nearest face to the 3d cursor meaning this quad since this vertex is selected it will use the other three vertices to define a plane when we run the plugin it will adjust the select vertex to lie on the plane defined by the three other vertices so I'll start by doing that. Select that one. Cursors is over here. Hit W, planarizer, anchor to connected vertex. So now you can see that that plane is now nice and flat. Now I can just work my way along the line. Planarizer, also flat. For simplicity, I'll just use the Shift R, repeat action. So these are going to end up jagged because it's taking the shortest path to lie in the plane rather than the previous curve we had. We'll have to fix those manually. But now you can see that these vertices are lining up on the same planes. Um, while they're not on the same plane with each other, they should ensure that their positioning means that each of these faces is coplanar meaning that the quads, all the, the four points on each quad lie on the same plane. So the other method, let's see, I'm going to fix a couple of these. Actually, I'll go ahead and undo. So we'll get back to where we started. OK, that's close enough. Move a couple of these up. These are nice and jaggy. Take this one, put it up there. All right, so there we go. So the other method is selecting multiple vertices. Like this. Obviously, when I run the plugin now, it's going to adjust all the vertices that I've selected. But the difference in this situation is that I can use any face on our mesh as a source for the, the uh, final plane. So what I'm going to do is I want to use one of these. Let's say this one looks pretty good. So I'm going to select it, snap the cursor to selected, so it's definitely closest to that face. Then I'll go along this line, select all of our vertices. So now what I'm going to do is align these vertices to the same plane as defined by this face. Now it appears as though they're all lined up on that same plane. Now, let's see, we'll detail a few of the options. The 
the source for plane option, um, we can either choose the face nearest to the cursor, which we've done in this example, or we can use the average of the selected, which means the center point of all the vertices that I've selected. But we're going to stick with face nearest to cursor. The second option is the anchor point. The median is the center of all the vertices again, meaning that the all the vertices, while being adjusted to lie on a single plane, that single plane is also going to be placed in a position so as to lie on the same uh, point. It will intersect the point defined by the anchor. And that's the same in all the anchor options. The only difference is the source for that anchor point so connected vertex means it's going to be one of the vertices that's connected which is a good reliable way of uh, trying to align a face if you've only selected a few vertices and you want to align them to other connected vertices on planes um, probably the more reliable method if we're using if we're adjusting one line like this is to use the uh, cursor what this does we can't really see it right now but I'm going to take the cursor and move it out a little bit, say like that. So now our cursor is away. Cursor is clearly near this face though, so it's still going to use that face as normal as the plane definition. But in this case, it, we're going to adjust it to lie on the cursor's plane. There we are. Now this looks strange because we've only selected one line of vertices but if we look at it from this angle we can see that this line is lined up with the cursor. A better example of this is to let's see, we're going to put the cursor back. Now I'm going to select this whole side. I'm going to select too many things of course. Yeah. Okay, so I've selected all those. I'm going to planarizer. I'm going to use the cursor as the anchor. I can also use the median. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. So now we can see that all of those lie on the same plane. And all the, the plane also is intersecting the 3D cursor. So in the same sense, I can take this, move the 3D cursor out. We can use the average of selected. Uh, let's see, after I apply it, obviously. So I'm going to run it again, the cursor there. So now all these are planar, but we want to adjust the positioning to be closest to the 3D cursor. So we're going to do average. The thing with the average is it's also going to select uh, faces that are not entirely selected, but faces that are connected to vertices that we've selected. So that's not going to work for this example. We can do face nearest to cursor, which is going to be any of these. Um, then do cursor as our target. So it'll take the shortest path to readjust those vertices to lie in the same plane as the cursor. Here we've kind of messed up our model, but hopefully you can at least see the kind of thing that you can do. Like say, for example, I go in here, this is going to be our source plane. I can readjust the angle of that a little bit so it's like that. Go back in, select all these vertices. Okay, so we got those. We can run it again, and now we've realigned everything that we've selected to that same plane. So you can get some kind of interesting geometry um, and neat patterns going with some of these options. Anyway, that's pretty much what Planarizer does. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you can do. Um, if you have any ideas for other anchor options or uh, plane definition methods, let me know. I'm happy to hear feed feedback. Um, also, if you have any issues, let me know. I am Clowner with a K on Freenode, as well as uh, I'm available in Google Plus, Mark Redesell, and you're welcome to email me, Mark, M-A-R-K, at Clowner.com, that's Clowner with a K, K 
K-L-O-W-N-E-R.com. Um, that pretty much sums it up. Thank you very much.